Hello my friends, another wonderful day in the Philippines. Hey, this is a special video. I've never seen anything like it on any of the channels that I've watched. When I used to come here, this is the kind of thing that I wish I would have seen. I've had so many questions about what is your life like on a daily basis. Also, what are the prices on things like refrigerators and even uh, washers, dryers, TVs, those kinds of things. So today we're gonna go see and I'm going to show you where to find them, what it's like here in the Philippines. It's going to surprise you, I think. Anyway, so take a look. Let me know what you think. Here we are, my friends, walking out to the highway. It's about 100 yards between my gate and the highway where I pick up a Jeep near a trike, and usually I'll go whichever is first. Here we are on the highway. I usually hang out underneath the shade of this tree here so I can wait for a trike or a jeepney. A trike will come along if they're headed back towards the terminal in Porak. They'll flash their lights at me and that'll let me know that they're empty and I can wave my hand out and they'll pull over and pick me up. It's the same thing with the jeepney. Just put your hand out and they'll pull over and pick you up. A trike is going to be about 50 pesos into town, which is about 95 cents. The jeepney is going to be 12 pesos, which is about 20 cents. I actually prefer the jeepney unless I'm in a hurry. I can see the jeepney coming now. So we're a bit lucky today. Uh, there's no set time where they come by in any particular place. It's just like a bus schedule would be in America. They wait until they're full, then they take off, and they get where they go and when they get there. You can see the new public market under construction there. And straight ahead, there is the jeepney terminal. And it will have jeepneys that you get on to go anywhere of about five different places. Some jeepneys, like the bus I'm getting ready to take, will run on a regular schedule, regardless of how full they get. This is the minibus we'll be taking. It's about a 45 minute ride by the bus because of the stops they make. The car might be uh, probably 20 minutes, depending on traffic. I'm just gonna put this out there. I remember back when I was watching Philippine videos and as this one is unfolding and I'm gonna see these beautiful stores and malls, I'm gonna be thinking, you know, why am I watching this? I'm not a mall shopper. I don't have the budget, I can't afford it. Well, hey, listen, if your rent is 10 times what mine is and you only get average social security and your budget is similar to mine, that will leave you with around 70,000 pesos a month. So when we're walking through and you're thinking, oh, I couldn't buy Oakley's or I couldn't buy Nike's. Why am, I, why am I seeing this? Well, you can. When you'll see the prices on the refrigerators, you'll say, I could have bought a refrigerator. I could have bought a 65-inch TV. Just remember this. In my videos, I'm not going to take you somewhere you can't go. That's what you'll see in this video. Just stay tuned. That last turnoff was the road to Manila about 60 minutes away. There's a lot of malls here in the Philippines. This SM Mall is a million four hundred twenty square feet. Not really sure about the Robinson's Mall, but it does have 300 stores. And they're both indoor as well as air conditioned. I just got off the minibus and now heading to Wilcon, walking along. It's a couple blocks away, not far. Across the street is SM Pampanga. We'll be going back there when we're looking for appliances and so on. Notice it's uh, Shell and McDonald's. Pretty much everything here is in English, at least as far as the signs are concerned. And most everybody that works in these stores speaks at least some English. Here we are at McDonald's, and I assure you the people taking your order will understand English. Next, you'll see Wilcon, and this is like the Home Depot or Lowe's of the Philippines. There are three of them within 10 miles of where I live in the province. Again, when you get inside the store, notice everything is in English. Also, as you were going through these different sections, notice the selection. I mean, when's the last time you saw a selection of this many toilets, or as we'll see, bathtubs, or tiles, or those sorts of things? Six rows of toilets and sinks, my friends. You're not gonna have to find them online most of the time. There are 83 of these stores in the Philippines, so pretty much just about anywhere you're gonna be, there should be one not too far away. Also, the price on these is probably about a third or a half of what they would be in the US. Nice little bathtub and jacuzzi selection there. Look at the tiles. 
This whole entire area is tiles, my friend. When's the last time you saw that many tiles anywhere? Floor tiles, backsplash, wall tiles, porcelain, ceramic, wood laminate. It's all here. My problem is there's just too many choices. You know, if you're watching my videos, I am doing all of this on average Social Security income. No pension, no 401k, average Social Security income. So if that's what you're getting, you could be doing this too. And that's actually the point of this video. Today my focus is on backsplash and for the floor tiles. Just an amazing selection. You know, you hear so much about the Philippines being a third world country or developing all these kind of things. You know, if you watch enough of my videos, you'll see that all the people that are so negative about the Philippines actually have not been here. And you'll be able to spot those guys because you will have seen for yourself what's available. Here's the wallpaper. And I've pretty much picked out the wallpaper I think I'm going to like for the bedroom. There it is right there. I was thinking maybe having this for the headboard. Not sure yet. But uh, anyway... That right there is what I'm gonna do for wallpaper. Either side of the mirrored door and around the bed, maybe one wall, not sure yet. A decent selection, I think. And it's in stock, sir. This aisle here has curtains and curtain rods. I'm thinking about going with black curtains, which would work with the wallpaper that I chose. Also like a black comforter, sheets, pillowcases, that kind of thing. It is a large, uh, relatively large furniture section as far as you can see down that way and, and wide across. The direction I'm heading uh, straight ahead is over there is where the lighting and ceiling fans. Probably one of the most expensive ones in the store and it is about 140 bucks. So when you're thinking about products here, we have most all the products and most of the products that we have in the States are not made in the United States. So we're getting the same thing at about half the price, which also means the quality is the same the paint selection and it just goes on and on when's the last time you saw that paint selection anywhere it just keeps going did i mention the premium paint here is like ten dollars a gallon just kind of anything and everything here's uh things for some stair railing and uh some trim or indoor and outdoor Here's windows. Got a nice selection. How about some third world service? Yeah, it, any one of these guys will come and help you from the time you walk in until the time you're finished. They'll carry your product all the way to the front counter. Just about anything you can imagine. There's pots for plants. There's tanks for water. Uh, pressure tanks. I mean, uh, think of something that's not here. Three aisles of shower heads and faucets. I think you get the picture. So let's head over to SM Pampanga. One million four hundred and twenty thousand square feet for your shopping pleasure. Here we are at the SM Appliance Store where we will see televisions, washers, dryers, refrigerators. All kinds of appliances. Now when you see the prices, uh, keep in mind it's 55 pesos to the dollar. So if you see something at 55,000, it's about a thousand dollars. So take a look at the prices as we're walking through if you can see them. As I said earlier, if your rent is 10 times as high as mine and your other bills are about the same, you'll have about 70,000 pesos left over each month. Most of these 65-inch TVs are going to run you about 35,000. Um, that one was 36, and I'm going to look at the other one. It's also a TCL, which is a Philippine brand, that is uh, 28,000. So I have to, one is uh, 60 hertz, and the other one is 120. This is the one for 60 hertz. If any of you can explain that to me, I'd appreciate it. These washers and dryers between uh, 25 and 35,000 each, depending, and you can get them up a lot more expensive if you choose. Pretty wide selection, let's say. 
How about some refrigerators? I'm curious when the last time any of you have seen a selection like this anywhere on the planet. Anywhere. I think I could do with kind of a small refrigerator, but since I'm thinking about renting this thing out like an Airbnb to my subscribers, I might want to get one a little bigger. I already got a stove, but take a look at those. Look at that selection. Again, it's just a huge selection. It goes on and on, all the way over to that orange wall. You can get a small four burner gas oven and stove top for about 200 bucks. You know, maybe you want to bring your girlfriend shopping or you're looking for something for yourself. Hey, they've got an amazing selection here. Much larger than a football field. And if you are making 70,000 a month over and above your fixed bills, I mean, you can do this. This is within your reach. When I was in San Diego, I didn't have this option. I used to sit at home basically waiting for the next check to come. Who knew I'd have to come to the Philippines to find financial freedom? I designed a closet which requires three custom sized doors. So I need the hangers and the tracks that they'll run in. Being heavy, I need to make sure that I've got the right kind of hardware on it. So the hardware will hold up to 200 kilos. It has four wheels and it mounts at the center of the top of the door. So the door should hang absolutely straight up and down. And there's the exact wheels that we need to fit up inside those tracks. I'm just letting the camera roll for a few seconds so we can see the different types of things that they have here. These are your actual tracks. They're nine feet long, that's what they're looking for. Those are the actual tracks that the wheels will roll on for the closet doors, which will be hanging closet doors, not like sliding glass doors, which roll on the bottom. So all the people in the red vests, those are people who are here to help. So every time a customer comes through, they sort of get a customer and they help them till they're done, carrying all their stuff up to the counter again. Just customary here in the Philippines. So here's an example. I just asked about microwaves. So she walks me over and shows me where they all are. Well, you get the picture, so uh, let's move on. Within 10 miles of where I live, there's about five shopping malls. Within 100 yards of where I live, I have public transportation to all of them. It costs about a dollar and a quarter with one transfer in about 45 minutes to either one. They're about the same. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. The point of this video is to show what's available to us out there at the income that uh, we're talking about.